Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So about a year ago, I posted letting you know that Google, Mozilla, and Apple were working on a new browser benchmark called Speedometer version 3.0. Now, as you can see, version 3 has finally made its way online, which took about a year or so to roll out. And just a quick recap, because I will leave that previous video in the end screen of this video a speedometer is a browser benchmark that measures the responsiveness of web applications. It also uses demo web applications to simulate user actions such as adding to do items. Now, speedometer was first released in 2014 and basically is a popular browser benchmark and a key driver of recent browser performance improvements. And the reason I'm showing you this and although it's a so-called third-party app, we do talk about browsers quite a lot on this channel. And I thought this is a nice tool uh, just to show you that you can benchmark your browser for real-time online tests just to get a good benchmark. And you can test your different browsers if you would be interested. And I'll leave the link for Speedometer version 3 down below if you'd like to get access to that as easy access and reference. Now, I'm going to run this quickly, and while I'm running this, I'm just going to carry on mentioning the updates for uh, this release. But just be warned, um, this does contain flashing images, so if flashing images are not your thing, now's the time to tune out. Okay, so let's start this test, and I'm just going to carry on talking. Now, they say that an important goal was to capture common present-day challenges faced by developers by incorporating new variants, frameworks, and modern usage scenarios to the speedometer tests. And the reason I'm actually showing you this and performing this benchmark in Microsoft Edge is because when I posted a year ago, it was only Google, Mozilla, and Apple. So since posting a year ago, um, Microsoft has now jumped on the so-called bandwagon. And that's because the Microsoft Edge team has contributed a new complex DOM set of tests to meet these goals. Now, if you don't know what complex DOM is, just a very brief overview, just to give you an example. Basically, as many of you will know, websites um, contain a lot of different elements and styling um, user interface tweaks and adjustments. So you get a lot of different buttons, images, and text on a website and on a web page. And as you may well know, the more of this you have, it can slow down the website's performance. So this is where the new complex DOM test suite um, basically comes into play it's like a test for websites that checks how well they can handle all these different elements like buttons images text and so on um, in a particular web page and on a particular website and page so that's just a brief overview of complex dom now getting back uh, to microsoft edge um, they say that their aim was to represent the scalability challenges faced by modern web applications and to drive performance improvements for those applications across the ecosystem. So that's where Microsoft Edge contributed into um, this development of version 3.0. Now, some other improvements that have rolled out is that version 3 adds several new tests based around rendering canvas and SVG charts, code editing, text editing, and reading new sites. And many of these existing tests have been updated and more complex versions have been added to, and I'm quoting, more closely emulate the page weight and structure from popular web apps today. So basically, at the end of the day, um, it should more accurately measure browser rendering time. And there we go, 4.66. And as mentioned, if you want to try out version 3 of Speedometer, the link will be down below in the description. And it'll be interesting to see um, what your benchmark scores are. Let me know down in the comments if you're running this on a, different, on a couple of different browsers. It'll be interesting to see. And just to let you know that I ran a test on Chrome before posting. And that was my score on Google Chrome, 7.83. And this was my score on Microsoft Edge, 4.66. Now, just bearing in mind, obviously, um, I wasn't recording a video in real time when I did Google Chrome. And I was recording a video in real time when I posted this video. So there's my scores, 4.66 and 7.83 um, using the new Speedometer version 3. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.